Hello, welcome to the Physicorum YouTube channel. I am expert physiotherapist Semi Burek Oktem. In this video, I will tell you what you need to do to stand up straighter. If we are ready, let's tell you how we can get rid of the hunched posture. When we examine the causes of kyphosis, which is known as hunchback among the people, we see that there are many causes such as neurological diseases, structural deformities, flat feet known as tplanus. Kyphosis can occur without any pathological disease. The most common cause of kyphosis in people is weak back muscles and back pain. Causes such as sedentary lifestyle, unhealthy diet, sleep disorders. Daily stresses cause people to get tired quickly during the day and cause back pain. After back pain occurs, the human body tries to reduce the pain by lengthening the muscles in the back area. This event is done involuntarily by the brain. The human body can stand upright with a puppet-like muscular force balance. When the length of the back muscles is lengthened and the strength is reduced due to pain, the balance of force is disturbed due to the greater strength of the muscles in our chest. This force imbalance causes the shoulder blades on our back to move away from each other as we pull our shoulders forward and inward. In such a case, a condition called humpback occurs in individuals. If back pain is not treated and this pain continues for a long time, the length of the muscles in the front of our body continues to shorten. In addition to the continuation of the hunched position, the length of the muscle in the anterior abdominal wall, called the abdominal muscle, begins to shorten with activities such as sitting and bending forward. With the shortening of the abdominal muscle on the anterior abdominal wall, it begins to pull the lower ribs to which it is attached and causes the hump to increase further. In order to treat humpback, first of all, muscle pain in the back area should be relieved. In order to relieve muscle pain, individuals should apply to a physical therapy unit and your physiotherapist should start manual applications. After getting rid of back pain, what we need to do for the treatment of hunchback at home consists of two stages. In the first stage, it is to lengthen the tense and shorten muscles by stretching them. In the second stage, it is necessary to strengthen the muscles that increase in length and decrease in strength. Let's start with the stretching exercise for our chest muscles that have shortened in the first place. We can do this exercise on the back and standing. I will tell you how we can do it in both positions. Let's start with how we can do it on the back. To stretch the muscles in the chest area, we lie on our back to a place where we can hang our arm and we take a weight in the hand of our arm that we are going to hang. You do not need to buy a special product for the weight we will take. Any water bottle will suffice. We lie on our back with the weight in our hands, close to the edge of the bed. And with our other arm, we fix our body by holding on to the place we are lying on. We open our arms slightly less than 90 degrees and hang our arm towards the ground with our elbow straight. We keep our hanging arm in this position for 15 seconds. After the time is up, we open our shoulders to 90 degrees and hang our arm for 15 seconds as before. After the time is up, we open our shoulders above 90 degrees and let them hang for 15 seconds again. After the time is up, we return to the starting position. If you are doing the movement correctly, you should feel the stretch in the chest area on the side of the arm you are hanging. We can do this stretching exercise at three different shoulder angles in the morning, noon and evening in the form of five repetitions for each angle. We need to practice in the same position and number of repetitions in our other arm. For those who do not want to do this exercise lying down, let's start by explaining how we can do it standing up. We stand in front of a door to stretch our pectoral muscles while standing. Our first exercise position is the position where we stand with our arms, straight from the elbow, slightly apart from the shoulder. In this position, we need to pay attention to the fact that our forearms coincide with the frame of the door. After checking that our exercise position is correct, we step forward with one foot and stay in this position for 15 seconds. After the time is up, we return to the starting position. For our second exercise position, we open our shoulders 90 degrees to the side and bend our elbows 90 degrees. In this position, we take the starting position with our forearms on the edges of the door. After checking that our starting position is correct, we step forward with one foot and stay in this position for 15 seconds. 
After the time is up, we return to the starting position. Our third exercise position is the position where our shoulders are angled more than 90 degrees and the elbows are slightly bent. After checking that our exercise position is correct, we step forward with one foot and wait for 15 seconds. After the time is up, we return to the starting position. If we do this exercise correctly, we will feel the stretch in both chest areas. We can do the stretching exercise for standing chest muscles in the form of five repetitions for each angle at three different shoulder angles that I have just described, morning and afternoon, in the morning and evening. Since we have explained how we can do the stretching exercise of our shortened chest muscle, we can move on to the stretching exercise of our other shortened abdominal muscle. In order to do this exercise, we lie on our back with our head and shoulders hanging on the edge of the bed. We stretch our arms above our heads with elbows straight and begin to relax. We wait in this position for 15 seconds and after the time is up, we return to the starting position. If we are doing the movement correctly, you should feel a stretch in the interior abdominal wall. We can do this stretching exercise five times a day, morning and evening. If you experience dizziness when you hang your head down, we can also do this using a Pilates ball, pillow, roller pillow, or the armrest of a chair with the seat cushions you use at home. We put a few pillows on top of each other to stretch the muscles of the interior abdominal wall and rest our backs on the pillows. We stretch our arms above our head with the elbows straight and start to stretch in this position. We hold this position for 15 seconds, then return to the starting position. If you are doing the movement correctly, you should feel a stretch in the interior abdominal wall. We can do this stretching exercise for five repetitions in the morning, noon, and evening. Now that we have finished the stretching exercises for the shortened muscles in the front of our body, we can move on to strengthening exercises for our muscles in the back region whose strength has decreased. In order to do this back strengthening exercise, we need resistance rubber bands. We fix our resistant rubber band somewhere and hold it with our hands at both ends. As a starting position, we lift our shoulders forward 90 degrees and start the movement with our elbows straight. From the starting position, we need to pay attention to the tension of our resistance rubber band. This exercise consists of two main movements. Our first move is to bend our elbows and pull our shoulders to the side. Secondly, we raise our hands up in a position with our shoulders open 90 degrees to the side and slowly return to the starting position. As a beginner level, we can do this exercise for three sets of five repetitions in the morning and evening. We can complicate this exercise by increasing each set to five reps per week. Now that we've explained this exercise, let's start with the other back exercise. The movement of the shoulder blades is very important to strengthen the muscles in the back area. First, we need to sit in a chair without back support. We put our index finger on our chin and pull our chin back. We must maintain this head position throughout the exercise. After taking the starting position, we clasp our hands together at chest level. We move our shoulder blades, which we call the scapula, first up, then back, then down, and finally forward. When we return to the point where we started the exercise, we have done the first repetition. When we look at our shoulder from the side, we should see that it makes a circular motion from front to back. As a beginner level, we can do this exercise in the morning, afternoon, and evening, with three sets of five repetitions per set. We can complicate this exercise by increasing each set to five reps per week. Now that we have described our second back exercise, we can move on to our final exercise. I describe this exercise to my patients as a chest relief exercise. First, we need to sit in a chair without back support. We put our index finger on our chin and pull our chin back. We must maintain this head position throughout the exercise. After taking the starting position, we clasp our hands together at chest level. The movement we need to do is to bring our shoulder blades, which we call the scapula, towards each other and wait in this position for 15 seconds. When we do this move correctly, we can see that our shoulders move backwards and our chests tighten. As a beginner level, we can do this exercise in the morning, afternoon, and evening with three sets of five repetitions per set. We can complicate this exercise by increasing each set to five reps per week. When we do the stretching exercises for short muscles and strengthening exercises for elongated muscles together, the kyphosis known as hunchback should improve. As I explained at the beginning of the video, 
There are different reasons for hunchback. In this video, I explain the exercises that can be done for humpback caused by back pain and habits. If you have kyphosis, called hunchback, be sure to consult your specialist doctor or physiotherapist for the correct diagnosis of the cause of your hump. We have come to the end of this video. If you write the topics you want me to explain in the comments section, I will choose the topics of my other content from them. If my video was injured, don't forget to send it to your friend in need. Like my video and subscribe to my channel. See you in other videos.